Ah! Uh -huh.
test. The mic is on. Testing. Would you stand, please? Let us pause for a few moments. We gather in the presence of Almighty God this day to give thanks for the life of Nona and to pray for her family and friends as we begin this funeral service. Just just when you've done this. O oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you today our sister Norma. We thank you for giving her to us, her family and friends, to know and love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence, we may continue our course on earth until, by your call, we are reunited with those who have gone before through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His compassion never fails. Every morning they are renewed. Jesus said, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor anything else, in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and rose again, that he might be Lord, both of the dead and of the living. The eternal God is our refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arm.
At this point, I should invite our brother to. He may not have a. Yes, you can. You can sit for him. I would just like to read a short scripture from the book of Psalm 90, reading from verse 10 and verse 12. And it says, The days of our life are three score years and ten, and if by reason of strength there be four scores years, yet is there strength, labor, and sorrow, for it's soon cut off and we fly away. 12. So teach us to, to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. And the expectation of what the Bible speaks about, Auntie Norma went beyond that because she was 93. So she was a strong one, and I think she reached a point where she thinks, Well, I'm tired. I've fought a good fight, I've kept the faith, and it's time for me to rule. So I think she was happy leaving at this time, but it's a time when people will reflect and feel sorrow. But let not our hearts be troubled, because God is able to comfort us in such time like these. So may God bless each and every one, and keep us safe, even during this current time. God bless. We now have the first hymn on your seat. The good side is, it is well with my soul. Could you stand? It's on your. When peace. You know this? I have I have the thing. When peace like a river attended my soul, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my Lord thou hast taught me to see, it is well, it is well with me. It is well. It is Though Satan should love, that no trials should come, let this blessed assurance come true, that Christ hath regarded my helpless feet, and hath shed his own blood for my soul. It is well, it is well, it is well, it is well, with my soul. 
I sing for the bliss of this glorious I sing not in part, but in who is near to the cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. It is well, it is well. It is well, it is well with my soul. And Lord, it's the day when the faith can shine, the clouds will rise. The storm shall be sung, and the Lord Sit now for the first reading. Good morning, everyone. The first reading is taken from Romans chapter 8, verses 18 to 25. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. For the creation was subjected to fertility, not of its own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to the key and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly while we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved, now, hope that is seen is not hope, for our hopes for what is seen. But if, but, I'm sorry, but for who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. This is the word of the Lord. We now have that familiar psalm, Psalm 23. The well known, the Lord is my shepherd. It is done in what we call the Cremon version. Um, are you familiar with that? You familiar with the Cremon? Right. You can remain sitting. The Lord's my shepherd, I not want. He makes me down to lie. In pastures green, he leadeth me. The quiet waters by. My soul, he doth restore again and me to walk that make within the paths of righteousness yet for his own namesake 
Second reading Good morning, everyone. This is the reading from John chapter 14, verses 23 to 29. Jesus answered him, and we will come to them and make a home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. This is the word of, word of the Lord. In the name of God the Father, the Son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Holy Spirit, be present with us. Open your word and open our hearts to receive Jesus, the living word. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, today we gather as Christians First and foremost, to give thanks to God for the gift of Norma. That's how we should begin. Whatever the occasion, joy or sorrow, first, God, the one who gave her life as a gift. And that tells us right away that, you know, sometimes we, we don't recognize gifts as gifts. It may sound a bit strange to you. Sometimes you don't recognize a gift as a gift. But what makes us recognize 
sometimes is the fact that we no longer have that gift. So, we no longer have normal in your physical life. She is in God's care. Because after all, she came from God, she belongs to God, a child of God. God gave Norma to you and to us as family and friends for this lifetime. He has now called her to live in a new way, in a new world, so to speak. And that tells us right away, you know, sometimes we go through this life without remembering or even thinking that this is not the only life that we are called to live. This is not the only life because life is more than what we know of it now. It's really like a journey. You're moving from one stage to another stage. And that is why we believe, as we say, that God has called her into a life which is free now of the present restrictions that we have. You know we have restrictions these days, that's the, that's the topic. The mask that you wear and I wear is a reminder of the restrictions that we have. But we would not have restrictions in the new life, the life of the resurrection. No pain, no sorrow, no weakness, no problems about the economy or the problems about what will happen to us if the virus continues and a multitude of other things no longer apply. The movement is from life to greater life. But then, if you are moving from one stage to another, surely you would like to be prepared, just as if you were living here to go to another land. You would want to know where you're going. You would want to know what are the things you need to have with you. What are the things that will occupy your time when you get to the other place to which you are traveling, and so on. And here is the only place we can do that preparation, right now where you are in this present life. And that is why the Christian person must keep remembering over and over again the words of life that Jesus has given us. And he said it at the beginning of the service. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Again, even though we die, yet he shall we live. Because, as I said just now, we move from life to a greater life. But that greater life all depends on what you and I do in the present life. So, we thank God for giving you the opportunity to share the life with Norma and to learn from her, as I'm sure you did over her many years, to learn the lessons that she taught by the way she lived. All these things will help us, I hope, to focus on the things that really matter in this life. And the greatest of all, focus on your relationship with God through Jesus and with our brothers and sisters. This is the essence of it. Preparing to be in a relationship of love which goes beyond the present time. Much more can be said, but it, is, it should be enough for the moment as we return thankfully to God, 
the gift that he gave to you. We continue to pray for her. Yes, you can continue to pray for her. She has not just disappeared. She has been called from life to greater life. And each and every one of us, at some point in time, will also be called to leave this life for the life which goes beyond. So again and again I remind you, now is the time to make good use of the time that we have. Now is the time to make good use of the time that is left to you and left to me. Fill your time, fill your days with occupying your minds and hearts, not only on the material things, that has its place, yes? But also make time to focus on the things for eternity. That is to say, the life that has no ending. Holy Scripture gives us the opportunity to do that. In the old days, you used to say, read, mark, and learn. In one of our older prayers, read, mark, learn. Make good use of the opportunities God gives you. Daily prayer. Taking time off to be quiet, to talk to God, you know, in your own language. Ask Him to direct you to the things that are most important. How you treat others, how you treat God Himself. Do you make time specially to put aside everything else and focus on our heart to heart talk with God? Yes. Now is the time to do that. Ask Him to help you to cope with what is going on now. And He will help you ask and it will be given to you. So my brothers and sisters, as we say goodbye to Norma, remember her life is a reminder of your own life as well. Let us pray to God that he will give you the opportunity to continue to grow day by day in the knowledge and the love of Jesus. Hold fast to him. He has already given himself for you on the cross. And he rose for eternal life. May God bless you, guide you, protect you as you continue your life. May you continue to know more and more by practice, loving, sharing, giving of yourselves for the service of Almighty God. To him be the glory and praise, now and forevermore. Amen. After this, we have the hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, on your sheet. Ready? What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and break to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often show. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not come. Everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? Should never be discovered. Take it to the Lord. 
and we find a friend so true to who will all our sorrow share. Jesus knows of every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy? Come back with a lot of time. Subscribe your big array. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise it for seeing me. Take it to the Lord in Will you stand now? Let us pray for our sister Norma. Pray to the Lord who says, I am resurrection and I am life. Uh, would you say after I hear us, Lord? After I pause, we say, hear us, Lord. Lord, you console Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Norma and dry the tears of those who weep. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. You raise the dead to life. Raise our sister Norma to eternal life. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our sister Norma to the joys of heaven. Our sister was washed in holy baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your saints. She was nourished with your body and blood. Grant her a place at the table of your heavenly kingdom. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our sister. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. I will continue now. Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to you our sister Norma, who was reborn in by water and the spirit in holy baptism. Grant that she may recall, her death may recall to us your victory over death and be an occasion for us to renew our trust in our Father's love. Give us, we pray, the faith to follow where you have led the way and where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit to the ages of ages. Amen. Give rest, O Christ, your servant, Norma, with your sins. Your sorrow and pain are no more, neither sign, but life everlasting. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of mankind, and we are mortal, formed of the earth, and to earth shall we return. For so did you ordain when you created me, saying, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet even at the grave, we make our song, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant Norman, with your saints. Your sorrow and pain are no more, neither sign, but life everlasting. Thank you. 
I'll do this commentary. Everyone the Father gives to me will come to me, says Jesus. I will never turn away anyone who believes in me. He who raised Jesus Christ from the dead will also give new life to our mortal bodies through his indwelling spirit. My heart, therefore, is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this, Happy are the dead who die in the faith of Christ. Henceforth, says the Spirit, they may rest from their labors, for they take with them the record of their deeds. Man born of a woman has but a short time to live. Like a flower, he blossoms and then withers. Like a shadow, he flees and never stays. In the midst of life, we are in death. To whom can we turn for help but to you, Lord, who are justly angered by our sins? Lord God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, holy and most merciful Father, deliver us from the bitter pains of eternal death. You know the secrets of our hearts. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Forgive us our sins, and at our last hour, let us not fall away from you. And now, in sure and certain hope of resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Rest eternal grant to her soul, O Lord, that light perpetual shine upon her. May she rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. We pray for her family and to all present. Grant, O Lord, to all your servants who are bereaved the spirit of faith and courage that they may have strength to meet the days to come with steadfastness and patience not sorrowing as those without hope, but in thankful remembrance of your great goodness and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious to her. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon her and give her peace. Amen. And now to you. <clears throat> and now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present you without fault before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, now and forevermore. Amen. The Recession at him on your sheet. How great thou art. My God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world thy hands of me, I see the sun, I hear the rolling thunder, the cosmos, the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Yes, can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great God, how great God, then sings my soul, my Savior to thee. How great God, how Christ shall come with shouts of acclamation to take me home. What joy shall be!
Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his fountains upon you and give you his peace today and forevermore. Amen. God bless you all. Continue in Jesus.